They told me. Son, you're special. You were born to do great things. Bioshock elevates itself beyond the genre of first-person shooters, making it one of the most renowned and revered video game franchises of all time. Today, we cover the entire history of Rapture from Bioshock 1 and 2, Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea, and parts from the Bioshock Rapture novel. I'm AJ Fry, and here's Bioshock Timeline, Rapture Edition. 1917, First World War and the Russian Revolution. In a country ravaged by war and government reformation, a young Andrei Ryanovsky witnessed the death of his aunt and uncle for opposing the communist uprising in Russia. 1919, fleeing to America. Andrei Ryanovsky went to America and changed his name to Andrew Ryan. He developed his own personal ideology. The world was created by great men who strove to make their own way. 1945. Rapture begins construction. Andrew Ryan began the stages of building Rapture away from the American and Russian government. He shortly enlisted the help of contractor Bill McDonough. 1946. Frank Gorlin slash Fontaine. Frank Gorlin conned his way into owning a bar called The Clanger and started his next grift after being tipped off of Ryan's construction of Rapture. He approached a known smuggler, Frank Fontaine, and coerced Fontaine into selling Fontaine fisheries to Gorlin. With no intention of paying, Gorlin murdered Fontaine and assumed his identity. From there, he approached Andrew Ryan under his new identity, opening up Fontaine's business in Rapture. 1946, Rapture opens its doors. I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose Rapture. With the help of contractor Bill McDonough, Andrew Ryan was able to open the brass doors of Rapture to its first batch of citizens. This marked the beginning of Utopia and Rapture, as this lawless land sparks the interest and opportunity for entrepreneurial spirits similar to the likes of Andrew Ryan to join him. There isn't an exact date to document Bridget Tenenbaum's discovery of Adam, but shortly after her arrival in Rapture, Tenenbaum witnessed a miracle. A smuggler in Port Neptune was bitten by a mutated sea slug in an instant, the bite had taken the smuggler's crippled hands and made them functional again. This discovery inspired Tenenbaum to further research Adam, opening up possibilities for people to splice their DNA in an effort to cure ailments or give them supernatural abilities. Tenenbaum turned to Fontaine for funding and facilities, spurring the opening of Fontaine Futuristics. The advancements of Adam showed that it could be produced in little girls, prompting the creation of the Little Sisters program. After further development, it wasn't long before the side effects of Adam drove users to addiction issues and mental and physical deterioration and mutation. 1950. Sophia Lamb comes down to Rapture after being invited by Andrew Ryan. Sophia Lamb began her practice as a therapist for the people of Popper's Drop. Lamb's aim was to spread her ideals of the common good throughout Rapture in an effort to make it a happy, prosperous place for all. Not long after, Sophia Lamb's daughter is born, Eleanor Lamb. She spends her early years in seclusion, being raised on the same altruistic ideals her mother holds. 1956, Jack is born. Fontaine tasked Tenenbaum and Dr. Yi Su Chong to create Ryan's ace in the hole, Jack. Jack had an accelerated growth rate due to Su Chong's creation of Lot 111 giving him the physical maturity of a 19-year-old at the young actual age of one. Su Chong later implants an audible trigger to achieve mind control over Jack. Would you kindly? Jack was created as Andrew Ryan's illegitimate son from the embryo of his mistress, Jasmine Jolene. His creation was Frank Fontaine's insurance had everything gone wrong between him and Andrew Ryan. Due to his genetic similarities to Ryan, Jack would have access to the bathy spheres and Vita chambers that had been locked down at Ryan's doing. 1957, Johnny Topside arrives. A diving expedition brought newfound hero Johnny Topside to Rapture, after accidentally coming across the city in his adventure. 
1958, the death of Fontaine. Frank Fontaine distributed special plasmids to his closest friends and allies. There are unfortunate side effects that appear after consumption, leaving people like Ray Lardner concerned for his health and well-being. Fontaine Futuristic swaps to an injectable form of plasmids after realizing the consumable version exceeds a sustainable amount of atom that the company can produce. Shortly after, Fontaine's smuggling ring had been exposed. Andrew Ryan and the council called for the arrest of Fontaine, but it escalated to the point of a firefight in front of Fontaine Fisheries. Ryan Securities believed they killed Fontaine, proving Fontaine's fiend death a success. Atlas is immediately born, calling for revolution and revolt against Ryan's rule over Rapture. That same month, civil unrest rises as prominent citizens like Bridget Tenenbaum go into hiding, and ownership and control of sections of Rapture changes hands. Charles Milton Porter loses control of the thinker, Rapture Central Computing, and Minerva's den to read wall after being falsely accused of swearing allegiance to Fontaine. Sophia Lamb takes control over Persephone from Sinclair. The civil unrest also prompts Ryan to commission the use and bonding of big daddies to the little sisters. He's still breathing. It's all right. I know he'll be an angel soon. 1958. Tears appear in Rapture. Elizabeth arrived in Rapture through a tear in the Silverfin restaurant searching for Zachary Hale Comstock. Dr. Yi Suchong takes over the Silverfin restaurant after a discovery of a tear appearing in the location. Tears started appearing all over Rapture, and Suchong realized that Jeremiah Fink of Columbia stole his research on plasmids, modifying them into Vigors. In turn, Suchong takes Fink's research and creates his own modification of ingestible plasmids. 1958, Elizabeth's search for Sally. Elizabeth and Booker DeWitt slash Zachary Hale Comstock connect in Rapture. Elizabeth and Booker located Sander Cohen to reveal the whereabouts of Sally, the little girl Elizabeth contracted Booker to find. After bargaining with Cohen, Elizabeth and Booker are sent to the now closed Fontaine's department store, searching for Sally in the toy department. After locating Sally, they are killed by Sally's bouncer, Big Daddy. Elizabeth regained consciousness in the toy department. Once confronted by Atlas and his men, Elizabeth has a vision of Booker. He explains to Elizabeth how she can bargain with Atlas to save Sally and ensure Atlas's freedom. Elizabeth claimed to be Dr. Suchong's lab assistant, and that her and Suchong will bring the department store back to Rapture. Elizabeth and Atlas come to an agreement, and Elizabeth goes back to Columbia later for the tear. 1958, New Year's Eve riots. The ultimate defining moment of Rapture the start of the civil war between Atlas and Andrew Ryan. Elizabeth returned from Columbia after retrieving the Lutus particle, which will allow the Fontaine department store to float back up and reconnect with Rapture. She's captured shortly after and rendered unconscious by Atlas' followers. Once docked with Rapture, Atlas and his followers start their assault on Ryan and the rest of Rapture at the Kashmir restaurant's masquerade ball. The riots caused chaos in the streets of Rapture forcing the Ryan Amusement Park to be cut off from the rest of the city, trapping the visitors inside. The New Year's Eve riots also marked the night of Subject Delta shooting himself in the head. Sophia Lamb got her splicers to use the hypnotized plasmid on him, breaking the bond between Delta's little sister and Lamb's daughter, Eleanor. Five. Nineteen fifty nine, Rapture Civil War. The Atlas attacks left major waves in Rapture, turning the city into a war zone and triggering economic collapse. Once everyone withdrew their money, citizens, whether pledging allegiance to Atlas or Ryan, or acting as a neutral party, were splicing themselves in self-defense. The splicing side effects take place and most of Rapture's citizens lost their sanity. Ryan locked down all of the bathyspheres into genetic lockdown, giving only Ryan the ability to use them. The chaos and lockdown gave Sophia Lamb time to amass followers in the security and safety of Persephone. Elizabeth remained in captivity as Atlas and his followers are still under the impression that Elizabeth is Su Chong's lab assistant and that she knows the whereabouts of the ace in the hole. They put her under again, hoping new information will arise. Within that first month of the Civil War, the pair bond between Big Daddies had been deemed too unstable. Adjustments were being worked on and variations to the Big Daddies were being researched to find something more stable. During Suchong's testing, 
He had struck a little sister while frustrated, triggering a bouncer Big Daddy to kill Su Chong with a drill. Elizabeth made her way into Su Chong's lab after being released from captivity. She retrieved the ace in the hole, would you kindly, and promptly delivered it to Atlas. After handing the information over, Atlas struck Elizabeth down with a wrench, killing her. Just get it over with. Well, love, if you insist. Within the next year, sections of Rapture continued to close off. Minerva's Den is sealed by Reed Wall. Sandra Cohen closed off Fort Frolic. Dionysus Park is flooded after a reported cult incident when Stanley Poole was truly the person who had exploited faults in the pipe system. Andrew Ryan also survived two assassination attempts and learned of Fontaine's interactions with former Ryan mistress Jasmine Jolene. Ryan disposed of those who attempted to assassinate him, murdered Jolene, and called for the executions of others that opposed him. 1960, Jack's arrival. Transatlantic Apollo Air Flight DF-0301 was hijacked and crashed into the North Atlantic, bringing Jack back to Rapture under Fontaine's instructions and gifting Jack a pistol and Rapture coordinates. Jack climbed the lighthouse near the wreckage and entered the bathysphere that took him to Rapture. Atlas connected with Jack over a shortwave radio and guided Jack through Rapture, promising safety and guidance through the underwater city. Would you kindly pick up that shortwave radio? Atlas requested Jack's help in rescuing his non-existent family that's trapped in the submarine, having them take refuge from the threat of Andrew Ryan. En route, Jack met Bridget Tenenbaum and was tasked with saving and liberating every little sister he came across. In opposition, Atlas urged Jack to harvest them for their atom. Afterwards, as Jack approaches the bay where the submarine is located, Ryan has the submarine explode. Nineteen sixty, a man chooses, a slave obeys. Jack fought his way through Rapture, killing countless Splicers and Dr. Steinman and Peach Wilkins along the way. Atlas guided Jack to Andrew Ryan, where Ryan revealed the ace in the hole to Jack. Ryan then commanded Jack with "Would you kindly?" the trigger phase for Jack's mind control, killing Ryan off on his own terms. A man chooses. Jack realized the instances of the phrase being used and how Atlas has been manipulating him this whole time. Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly get this? 1960, Fontaine's reveal. Immediately after Jack killed Ryan, Atlas told Jack to grab Ryan's genetic key. Atlas then triggered the would you kindly phrase, commanding Jack to insert it into Rapture's self-destruct override. Atlas revealed his true identity to Jack thinking it will be their last encounter. Once the alarm kicked in, security drones flooded the room attempting to kill Jack. The little sisters show up guiding Jack out of the room and into the ventilation system where he safely escaped. 1960, Lot 192. Jack woke up in the little sisters hideout created by Bridget Tenenbaum. She deactivated the trigger phrase, rendering Fontaine's commands useless. She guided Jack to search for Lot 192, to cure Jack of any tricks or commands Fontaine may have over Jack. It's on this path that Jack gets full context of his history, creation, and purpose. 1960, Frank Fontaine's Downfall. Jack finally confronted Fontaine face to face, only to find out that Fontaine had used copious amounts of Adam to make him an inhuman manifestation of the compound. Jack defeated Fontaine, leaving his body to be harvested for Adam by Little Sisters, killing Fontaine in the process. 1960. Jack and the Little Sisters leave Rapture. Jack declined the key to rule Rapture after Fontaine's death and liberated the Little Sisters, leaving Rapture forever. They all started their new life on land. 1960 to 1967. Civil War Aftermath With Jack and Tenenbaum having left Rapture with the Gatherers, there's a severe shortage of Adam for the people of Rapture. Without the Gatherers, aggression spiked as splicers are more desperate due to Adam withdrawal. With Andrew Ryan and Frank Fontaine out of the picture, Sophia Lamb took control over Rapture, building her cult, Rapture Family. Sophia Lamb solved the Adam shortage by restarting the Gatherer-slash-Protector program. 
Lamb teamed up with the scientist Dr. Gilbert Alexander. He created a new form of Big Daddy and began the Big Sister program. The Big Sisters kept the streets in line, enforcing the remaining splicers to devote themselves to Lamb's rule. 1967, Disappearances. Lamb's alternative for the little sister shortage in Rapture is to kidnap girls nearby on the surface and make them the new gatherers. She executed this plan to great personal success. 1968, Tenenbaum's return. After the disappearances on the surface hit a boiling point, Tenenbaum returned to Rapture to uncover the mystery of the missing girls. 1968, Subject Delta awakens. Big Daddy Subject Delta is revived in a Vita chamber 10 years after Sophia Lamb commanded Delta to shoot himself in the head with a pistol. When he woke, he began to receive telepathic messages from his little sister Eleanor. After Delta had connected with Tenenbaum, he's tasked with reuniting with Eleanor, who's held captive in Fontaine Futuristics. If Delta doesn't reconnect with Eleanor, his heart will stop beating due to the pair bond they have. On Delta's travels to reunite with Eleanor, Delta discovered Lamb's history of brainwashing of Rapture. It's also revealed that new ally, Augustus Sinclair, planned on taking over Rapture after Lamb's demise and intended on bringing Adam and plasmids to the surface. 1968, Johnny Topside Reveal. Subject Delta killed Lamb's zealot, Father Simon Wales. After Subject Delta's unplanned detour, he discovered that he was once a hero of Rapture, Johnny Topside. His past life accidentally led him to Rapture on a diving expedition. Former reporter Stanley Poole gave this information over to Andrew Ryan, stoking belief that Topside was a government agent that infiltrated Rapture. Ryan had Topside commissioned into a Big Daddy, codenamed Subject Delta. 1968, Fontaine Futuristics. Subject Delta made it to Fontaine Futuristics, only to be tasked to deal with an atom consumed and mutated Dr. Gilbert Alexander. <laughs> you don't have to kill me, Delta. I'm sorry. After handling the doctor, Subject Delta took Gil's genetic key that granted him access to Persephone, the location where Eleanor is held. 1968, Persephone. Subject Delta made it to Sophia Lamb in Persephone, as she's in a quarantine chamber with her daughter, Eleanor. Before Delta could close the gap, Sophia Lamb smothered her daughter with a pillow, effectively stopping Delta's heart to the point of unconsciousness. Eleanor, forgive me. During Delta's captivity under Lamb, she severed the pair bond between Eleanor and Delta. Delta woke up restrained to a bed. Eleanor sent a little sister to administer a plasmid that would give Delta a connection to another little sister. This allowed him to tap into her mind and actions. Under Delta's command, the controlled little sister retrieved big sister equipment for Eleanor, bringing her that much closer to Subject Delta. Sophia Lamb witnessed the transformation and set her plan of sinking Rapture into the trench below into motion. Eleanor and Subject Delta fought side by side on their way to flee the city using Sinclair's escape pod. Subject Delta and Eleanor found Sinclair, but learned that he had been transformed into a big daddy by Lamb. As he held the escape pod key and he wasn't himself, Delta killed Sinclair so that he and Eleanor could escape. 1968, end of Rapture. Subject Delta and Eleanor made it to the escape pod in the nick of time, only to discover that bombs were set as a trap for their arrival. The bombs went off, but Eleanor was able to teleport out of harm while Delta took the force of the explosions head on. While he made it onto the top of the escape pod, he's mortally wounded and witnesses Eleanor in the pod saving her mother, Sophia Lamb, regardless of everything that's happened. Mother believed this world was irredeemable, but she was wrong, Father. Subject Delta, Sophia Lamb, and Eleanor reached the surface. Before Delta passed away, Eleanor took his atom so that she could absorb it to have Delta with her every step of the way for the rest of her life. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and go check out our channel for more awesome videos like this one.